Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn about the insert method in Ruby. What is it and how does it work? Let's take a look. Okay, let's say we have a string, like an empty string. I'm just going to call it A for simplicity, to keep it simple. And to A, we want to add some characters, right? So one thing we can do is use this operator. Some people call this the shovel operator. You can also call it the push operator. Right or less than less than operator, and then we can add some characters. Like the characters can be numbers because a number is also a character, right? So you will notice that this adds the other string, the characters, to the end of the string, right? So this is like a string append. There is an actually a, a append method as you can see if I try to append to get undefined method append because the, it doesn't exist. What does exist though is the prepend method. Why is there prepend and not append? Well, because the append is really this, right? It's the, this method. Okay, so let's take a quick look at prepend. Let's say that we want to prepend two and we, we, we get two, one, two, right? And now that we have this, we can look at the main topic of this video, which is the insert method, okay? So insert is a method that takes two arguments. So insert two arguments. The first argument is the index or the position where you want to insert something, okay? So if we do position zero, this will be the same as the prepend method, right? Because we are going to be inserting, adding something into the start of the string. So let's add four, for example. As you can see, now the string becomes four, two, one, two. And this is changing the string, right? You don't have to do a equals all of this, right? Because it's actually changing the string. Sometimes you have to do that, but this is not the case. Now, if I do this again, what do you think will happen? Well, the index, the position is still zero. So we're still adding in front of the string, right? I can change the number so you can see clearly. So that's insert with the zero position and it behaves like prepend. Now if I do minus one, what do you think will happen if I do minus one? Well, the number or the character or string gets added to the end. Again, this doesn't have to be numbers. I'm just using numbers because it's simple, but you can use any other string that you want. It can be ABC, it can be cat, bacon, potato, whatever, <laughs> right? Doesn't have to be numbers. What has to be a number is the index, the first argument, right? So now we understand that if we put a zero, in fact, let me demonstrate. If we put at zero, see, we can put the A at the front. If we do minus one, we put that at end. So that's like our Oper this operator, this method, right? Now, what if we want to add something in the middle? That's where the insert method can be really helpful, right? Well, we just have to change the index. For the middle, the index will be something, for the middle, the index will be something like the size divided by two. So it's going to be half the size. So we can insert something in the middle. So let's use another number or let's use 
let's use um, five again. So there we go. And well, now we are adding five on the middle of the string. As you can see, if I use six, it's also added to the middle. So that's how you use insert method. Remember, the first is always a number and this number represents the index or in other words, the position inside the string. And the position, just like arrays, starts with zero, it's zero indexed, that we say. And if you want to ref refer to the last item, you can use minus one. And by the way, this also works for arrays. Okay, so minus one is the last item. And finally, if we use an index, which is half of the size of our string, then we're going to be inserting in the middle of the string. So that's it, that's the insert method. Hope you learned something new, uh, that this helps you improve your Ruby skills. If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos on this YouTube channel now. There are over 100 videos that you can watch for free uh, to improve your skills and your learning. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can get more videos. Like this video, click the like button so you know that you like it. And finally, visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com there you will find a lot of ruby tutorials thanks all for watching i will see you in the next video